Hello and welcome to the Crypto Rocket channel. Today I'm going to show you the best crypto desktop widgets, but this time it's going to be any currency you want. So if you can see on my desktop, BTC, I've got AED, which is the UAE dirham. ETH, I've got in INR, which is heavily requested, Indian rupee. ADA, Philippine peso, USD and Euro. So I'll show you how to do this. If you like this video and enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. We've got a 250 zil giveaway when we hit a thousand subscribers, which we're getting pretty close to now. So that's really exciting. Also, I have a lot of new content planned and I'm hoping to get some new videos out soon. So let's get straight into it. So if you didn't watch the first part of the video, I will just put drop the card now, which shows you how to install rain meter. So what I've done is first time I did this in the first video, I used somebody else's config. And now what I've done is I've modified the config and I've used a different API. So I've now set this up with the coinmarketcap.com API, which is a great website in itself because it will give you the price of everything, give you all the different currencies and everything. So there's a lot of great features to this in that you can list any currency. Um, but the small downside is you need an account, which is free, but it limits the API queries. So I'll explain how that affects us and how to set everything up. So the first thing you want to do is go to coinmarketcap.com slash API. I'll drop this link in the description and you want to click on get your API key now. Then you want to fill in your email, uh, name, password, and pick a plan. You want to pick the basic free for personal use. These ones you have to pay for basically. So click on that, sign up. And then when you sign up, it will send you an email and you'll be able to log in. So I'll just jump to my account. So I've got my account open here. Uh, so I'll keep my API key blurred so you can't see it. Um, but your API key will be there on the left side here. And if you just click on it and click um, copy, it will copy it for you. So this is how the dashboard is looking. And as you can see, I've got uh, 135 out of 333 credits today, and you get 10,000 in a month. So this is the kind of limitation to this. Every API call that you do, so every time each coin refreshes, so BTC to AD or whatever you've got, each time that refreshes, it counts as one API call. So you only get 333 in a day. So if we just do some quick maths, so say, you know, there's 24 hours in a day times 60 minutes. So you've got 400, 1,440 minutes. If you divide that by three, 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 so 4.3. So you can do basically, um, 4.3 requests per minute. So call it five requests a minute. Now, if you've got five currencies, you're going to have to times that by five because each one is going to be doing a request, right? So basically if you do five times five you can do if you're keeping your computer on 24 7 so this is the other thing you got to think about you can refresh once every 25 minutes and you won't hit the daily limit you might hit the monthly limit but i mean unless you keep your computer on all the time you won't hit the daily limit so if you're keeping your computer on for eight hours then you can you can do a slightly different calculation you can do um eight times 60 divided by three, 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 uh, 1.4 times five. So you can make it every seven minutes. Now there is a workaround to this. So what you could do is you could set up each coin with its own API key. We'll come to that at the end. So basically you're going to want to set this, uh, how often it refreshes so that you don't run out of credits. So let me show you how to do this anyway. So you're going to want to download from my GitHub, which again, I'll link this cryptocurrencies.ini. So if you follow the guide on the first video, keep that as it is, and then you download this file and I'll show you where you need to put it now. So in the skins folder of gadget editions in Rainmeter, in cryptocurrency, there is this cryptocurrencies.ini. So that will be what is driving the whole thing. And that's the file that we're downloading. So once you replace this, it will go from the old version to the new version. And when we open this, there's one thing that we have to configure in here. And that's the API key. So 
If we scroll down, we'll see here under variables, there's API. So you want to copy your API key from that box that I showed you and paste it in here and then click save. So firstly, download, download this file, rename the old one dot old and download the file from GitHub, put it in here, open it up and it will have this XXXXXXX business. And then change that XXXXXXX to your API key. And that's all you need to do. So now if we go back to the widget, after you've replaced the file to get the widget to update, you go down to the start bar and then you'll see the rain meter here. Right click on this, go to manage and then go to refresh all. And when you press refresh all, it will completely reload the widget from the config file. It will look like this. Now I've actually edited the width on this because sometimes the numbers were getting a bit squished. So to edit the width of that, I'll just show you how to do that quickly. So from this folder, you go up to the skins folder of Rainmeter, gadget additions, then go into resources, then variables. Then you have this cryptocurrencies.inc. Open up this one. And then this the, by default is 160. So I made this 200 and that makes it a bit wider and all of the numbers are very clear then. And that's literally it. All you have to do. And then anytime you want to change, you can see I've got different currencies, AD, INR, PHP, USD. Say I wanted to change the top one to uh, GBP. Let's press enter. Uh, and then now I've got GBP. So bear in mind, every time you change this as well, it's um, uh, it's going to run an API query, right? So you just kind of have to keep the API queries in mind uh, and make sure that how often it refreshes is, um, you know, within. So to change the refresh rate, I've got it at 60. So 60 is obviously going to run it out. So if we want it at seven minutes based on my computer being on for eight hours, you obviously need to do 60 um, times seven. So that's going to be uh, 490, I believe. Um, let me just double check. 60 times seven. 420 sorry my brain's not working too well so go 420 uh, and that means it's going to refresh every seven minutes so you shouldn't run out of api queries based on that now if you do run out of api queries you can do a few things so you can create another account um sorry wrong thing you can create another account and get another key. So you just sign up with another email. The other thing that you could do slightly more complex, but it will, it will take you maybe five minutes to do is you see here, you have API where I set the API key and variables. You could make it API two. Oops. Like this. Uh, API three. Um, and say you have five, five coins like I have. You can make five APIs. You would have to then edit this. Okay. So this is, it's not too complex. So market one relates to the first coin. And if you look here where it says header, it says API hash API. So this means the first API key. So what you'd have to do is go to the market two measures. Scroll down, you'll find it. So here, and you see where it says API, you would just make that API two, and then you would use the second API key. Now you'd obviously need five emails to do this, but you would then get, you know, 333 times five. Um, so you would pretty much be able to update these uh, every couple of minutes. So if you wanted it more real time, that's a better way to do it. Um, requires a little bit of effort, but it's, um, it's not too much. So that's just a quick video on how you can do that. Uh, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments or you find anything's not working or wasn't clear. Um, as always, if you liked it, subscribe to the video, giving away the 250 zeal at a thousand. And I do have some really good content coming up. So thank you very much.